Subtle philosophy from Galen Drake. <laughs> Remember him? And now, a word for today. Walk up the great hill and walk down it. And you can say, you've walked. <laughs> well, no. And then a the guy always tags it by saying, I like that. <laughs> and here's this poor little housewife with a Pillsbury cake saying, Ah, oh, the hell is it? <laughs> I, uh, I, I love to go to movies, and this one thing keeps me out of trouble. This is a little jungle picture. There'll be a lot of people here, I hope, my age, and some that won't remember, but the Richard Arlen, the Johnny Downs, Richard Dix, these were always people that were in the B pictures, and we still see a lot of B pictures today. Only thing is, Richard Dix isn't in them anymore, or Johnny Downs. But I always used to get tied up with those type of shows. They were a little cheaper. They were 15 cents, and you had to pay a quarter downtown area, so I walked over, reached up and put my little dime, and said, can I come in? <laughs> and the woman pinched my face until the vessels broke. <laughs> and said, go on in, you little devil. Ow! <laughs> so this is, a, this is a jungle picture. With a great message, you know, there are two naval flyers and they're lost somewhere over. We call this picture the Lost Island. And they're flying along in a U.S. Navy plane. They're one's, you know, J.G., the other fellow's a commander. And they're saying uh, something like this. You've seen these type of pictures, you know. Fred, we're running out of gas. We don't stand a chance. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think we can make it. I think we can make it. I think we can make it, really. No, we don't stand a chance. Look, the gas, we're shot. You're right, we don't. <laughs> now what we've got to do is find a place where there's a clearing here in all this horrible jungle with snakes and insects and horrible savages and things of that nature. I'll take over the controls, clown. All right, take it easy, buddy. We're going right into those palm trees. They leap out of the thing before, you know, they're swept up in flames. One guy's landing in, you know, his head's like this, and the goggles are down, hanging around his neck, and the scarf has fallen out on the ground, and they get out, and suddenly natives creep out of the bushes, and you hear the... Who are these people? <laughs> you there. Are you the king? Yes, my son. <laughs> and this is usually a guy who was played by H.B. Warner, you know, or somebody. Some old guy, you know, he's over the hill, but <laughs> got a fright wig on, you know, and bones around his neck and wearing a G.I. belt. <laughs> Welcome, my son, to the island of Talawe Tanitano. We saw your great silver bird fall from the sky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dad, you can cut the chatter. Listen, can we get some food? We got to get this plane fixed and repaired so we can get back to Sarasota. Why do you want to leave this beautiful island? This is my daughter, Kalia. <laughs> Both of these guys go right in on her. <laughs> and then they see this great stone god. And the one of the guys says, What's that? That is the great green goddess. The goddess of time and life. You see the eye? The all-seeing eye. Fantastic! Gee, that's an emerald! Boy, if we could get that, we could chuck the Navy. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. We wouldn't stand a chance of getting that thing out of that thing's skull. We'll try it after dark. No, there are spiders and insects and snakes. Don't take the eye or you will perish. You know, all that. Oh, big messages through all through this thing. Well, without going into a long thing, they jerk the eye out of the thing. <laughs> all kinds of snakes, you know, thing. <laughs> you know, all kinds of 
signs of wild stuff. So they get down, they got the eye, and the old man comes on the scene. He's been, you know, lying on an army cot or something. <laughs> what are you doing, my sons? You have taken the great eye. Now you must pay for it. You will be thrown as human sacrifices over the cliff of the Fungawaiya Tanana. What's that mean? Means you're going to die. You can't touch us. I happen to be a commander in the United States Navy. T.S. tough situation. 